I'm Michelle, and I lost my brother Taylor when his best friend decided to get behind the wheel drunk and smash into a tree. His best friend fled the scene and left my brother to die alone. They were driving down a residential area and lost control and crashed into a tree on the passenger side. Taylor hadn't died on impact and paramedics came and revived Taylor twice, but he wouldn't hold on. <laughs> It took a long time for me to get rid of the guilt of not being there for him and not being able to save him. My parents went into a huge state of denial. They couldn't, they didn't want to go to the funeral. They didn't want to plan it. They didn't want to do the viewing, they didn't want to greet people, they didn't want to do anything. There was a lot of things that I had to do on my own and you know with the funeral and everything I had to plan it, I had to take a lead role and you know I had to pick out his clothes for him to wear in the casket. You know and after picking it out I remember my dad the only thing he was concerned about was how the black shoes that we wanted him to wear had a little scuff on them and I swear he spent like an hour brushing so hard the scuff out because he didn't want him to wear dirty shoes to heaven. To those people, you know, saying you'll get over it and you know, even saying stuff like, ew, it will get easier, you know, you'll just learn to live without him. And it makes me mad because I shouldn't have to do that. You know, I didn't do anything wrong, so why does my family have to deal with a consequence of someone else's actions? My brother was my best friend. He's the only sibling that I had left. How do you get over something like that? Like, I'm forever gonna be lighting a candle in my brother's memory. And, you know, it wasn't something natural, or he didn't die because of a fluke accident, or somebody killed him because of a decision. And how do you get over that? You can't.